You're the next contestant. I'll Suck my ass. So my DV case is not as severe as Gary's disability case. Is that what you're fucking saying? Get a life. Disgusting. I'm not the type of asshole like you, crusty bread. This is why people don't take me seriously. Give me $25 for my crusty panties and shut up. I'm a successful businesswoman. I don't care. <laughs> I swear. Fuck you. I don't know how anyone supports you at this point. Everything is about me. Yes, this case is about me. Sorry I'm not thinking about Gary's fucking childhood. Do not judge me on my actions tonight. Ugh. <laughs> Stay mad. Because you don't like me, I have more sympathy for something that happened to him in the past. But my case, oh no, that's not right, right? Because you can profit off that. You're a hypocrite, piece of crap loser, and you better hope that none of your videos are bullying and harassment because I'll be going after your channel. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Goodbye. As things are coming to a close, close as in, never to be talking about them again. I just want to clear some things up. I have nothing to hide in this situation. I try to limit my exposure now to this whole situation. I'm more emotionally stable than before. This was apparently a conversation with, I don't know who, these are two people that I've been involved in this whole thing with. Actually, Dee Dee actually inserted herself. So basically, he and I had this whole relationship going on, him denying it because he didn't like how I outed him for shit, called him an abuser, outed his abuse, everything. He's not going to be with, it hurts his ego to be with a woman who's outing him as being an abuser, right? And of course, he wanted to keep that, that he's free so he can continue to talk to women on Messenger and cheat on me and whatever the reasons, whatever he was saying publicly, behind the scenes, we were planning a life together. In comes along uh, horny Dee Dee and... Hello? Hello. How are you? Who's that? It's me. It's you? Yeah. You look, you look very handsome tonight. Thank you. I don't see a picture, do I love the food you make. I love it too. No, I love it the most. Oh my god. Because Nader is the real man he is, allowed himself to be swooped up and stolen away. They basically wonder why I would have a problem with that at all. I did press charges on him. He did do all of those things, arguably. You did put hands on me. Again, valid charges. I loved him. My motive behind dropping the charges was because I was going insane wanting to see him. He had Dee Dee there. And she acted as the middleman. And in this Sam's Bar Lounge video, she basically admits that. So then I hang up with the police and I'm like, listen, I can't write all of this in a text. I said, Natter, can I call Chantal? I want to call her, you know, with my phone, obviously. Then I called her and I uh, went in my bedroom and I mean, Natter could hear me and stuff. I, did, I know he coughed on purpose because he wanted her to hear. <laughs> and uh, so I just so I explained it to her and she's like, oh, okay, so, wow, okay, so I can't go tonight then. I said, no. And I said, it all depends, Chantal, on what you're going to tell. I mean, if you're going to go in there and just say I want a restraining order, restraining order to be taken down, then his charges are still there. That makes no sense. But the police that told me that they're both together, restraining order and charges are together. If there's conditions on the charges that were done, they, you can't just drop one. You know what I mean? So, so I explained to her that all depending on what you say, you understand that, Chantal. Like you have to make, you have to say, you don't say it happened, but like, or it did happen, but I'm, you know, you have to go there and say, I was crazy. I was nuts. I was under the influence. Didi, you look dumb because. <laughs> You literally say in that video, here's your own words. Meaning you're basically admitting to telling me you have to change what you say in order for it to get dropped because the charges are the charges and the order are, are hand in hand. So if you want the order dropped and you want to see Natter, you have to say something like you were crazy and jealous and blah, blah, blah. Regardless, he still did those things to me. Whatever, ever merciful angels in the heavens above I have watching over for me who just aligned everything perfectly so that I never met up with him again in enough time for me to get over him. You know, I'm not telling you the words to say. You know how to do the right thing because you know in your heart if you did it or not. And I'm not I'm woman to woman. I'm not going to tell you, you know, drop the charges if you did fucking sexually assault you. You mocked me so many times. I've never known never to be 
an aggressive person. Really? No, not. Or this is what happens. This is not mental illness. This is what happens whenever you push someone, abuse someone, treat them like crap, use someone over and over and over, make them drive around from you, drive around, give you money, do everything for you. And then you abuse them and treat them like crap. I used my mental illness card. That was wrong, but I was desperate. I loved him. The pain of not being with him was too much. And so I went off there a bit. You good? No, I'm not good. What can we do? Okay, well, you're just gonna have to listen to me rant. That's all you can do. I'm not attacking anybody. You need to apologize to Gary and to everybody. That's disgusting. Like, I would, okay, listen. I didn't fully, I seen everyone talking about it, like starting to talk about it. And my oblivious self, just like, okay, I don't have time to really worry, sit down and look at what's going on with the drama right now. So, yes. Finally, I have a look. I'm not even subscribed to Natty Daddy, so I don't even, like, forget that it exists. And I'm like, okay, so these people are talking about a, a live stream, so it must be on Natty Daddy, because I don't see it. And I saw the part, so I saw, so number one, your title, Gary got Eribi Eribo, is gross, because Gary did not get Eribi Eribo. Gary was sexually, a, sexually... Oh, I don't know. I didn't hear what he, Gary said. I didn't watch Gary's video about what happened to him. But I'm guessing not, you know, he was molested or whatever. He was whatever, whatever you want. I don't know the whole story, but he was put through something horrible as a child. And he was vulnerable enough to come and talk about it. You don't make fun of somebody for that. You don't start making fun of their butthole and, oh my God, like, you really messed up. Like, I didn't think that you could get any lower. I mean, and why are you, he's so homophobic. I hate the homophobic shit, especially when you admitted to me to getting oral sex from a man during a threesome. So why are you shaming anyone for that? For the homophobia? It's a parody channel. Yours is mean-spirited, Natter. He, his is a parody channel. But you're showing your true colors. Like, making fun of somebody who's been through that, like, he was a kid. So that makes him less of a man because he was abused sexually. Do you know how even even begin to realize how disgusting that is? Yeah, he's like, what'd you get? Uh, fist or leg? Really? Like, you don't realize what you're saying? You're literally mocking someone who's been sexually assaulted and you're on trial for sexual assault. That just goes to show you your mentality with the whole situation, doesn't it? Do you think Gary stopped reacting to you because your wig makes you look like Michael Jackson and it's traumatizing? Well, yeah, I laugh at insensitive things, so shut up and leave. I'm obviously not an empath, but well, I don't know. That's that's the, maybe the reason I was trying to make sense of why I was so addicted to him. And that's the only thing when I was listening to the narcissist talk in that interview that made sense for me. <clears throat> no, I didn't lie about SA. You don't know the situation. You have got to be kidding me. He did not sexually assault me. And then one day he was drunk and got mad and like put it in anyways. It, it hurt me. He's innocent of that. I want to make that clear because this kind of accusation for somebody really is damaging. So why are you even even talking about it? Anyone who was not there, who has no idea, can fuck all the way off. Karma will come for you too for accusing someone of false claiming. Keep trying, boozers. You're so mad. Whatever. And any of you who say I don't take care of my cats, I just gave them the gourmetest meal and treats ever. Maze attacked me too in comments, so fuck you. Like, you people want me to give all the sympathy to people who have treated me nothing but shit. And I'm just mocking Gary. No, you're not. You're mocking every single person. You don't think every single person who's been molested as a child is going to and sorry for trigger warning or whatever like i don't know how this works but... oh i'm trying to be sensitive but so no i do not support that at all and gary i'm sorry that you went through that that's horrible that's what he basically said in his video because gary got itty bit itty boo as a kid he's not a real man doesn't that just make you want to throw up you make it sound like it's so fucking out left field for me to claim confinement i can't believe you would press the charge on me she did that to me. How do you think I felt at the corner of your fucking bed being screamed at and grabbed in the face by you? How do you think I feel? How do you think I felt? And because you're afraid to get in shit, you won't take ownership for it? Everything is crashing down on him, but you know what? It's your own fault. You think I'm dumb. I'm not dumb. So all of these things are in my brain all the time. I have a brain. It's not made of broccoli like yours. Everyone has to face the music. I have to face the music. Everyone does. I would delete that if I were you, Natter, and I would apologize. He was mocking SA victims. I feel he's an asshole. What explanation could there be? Like, how could he defense, defend himself? I'm out? No, I'm okay. I'm sorry, did I talk too much tonight? Yeah, I don't want to talk about him anymore, for real. No, I just have moments of, like, sadness, I guess. You know what one thing that's really awesome in life? Being in love with a new lover and going to the in-laws and getting tipsy and being like hazy from the booze and it's like a holiday and it's warm and fuzzy.
Because the sugar will bring up the juice. I wish Titanic was real. The love story. Oh, I mean, I wish the love story was real. Oh, no! <laughs> Don't clip that. Mm. Be bad. Mm. Fruit is the most gorgeous food. I don't mean to self-destruct, I just have the munchies. I'm not eating right now because my dad was mean to me. I just have the fucking munchies. <laughs> All right. I want my shoes open, that's hard. I have pickle juice. I'm just munching out, I'm sorry. You know, I want to be losers together on weekends. <laughs> I have to just focus on myself for the next few months at least. I was a willful child. My mom tried. Sorry, I'm being a pig. Can I eat something else? Will you guys judge me? I feel like a loser. Do you guys think I rage too much? I do, don't I? I know I do. How did I quit smokes? I don't know. I just gave up one day. I just had enough. I'm telling you, that's how I operate. One day I've just had enough and I quit whatever it is. He didn't kick her. No, he didn't. I don't even think he made contact with her. He like swatted at her and what, he, in such an angry way because he was in the middle of a rage and it scared her. <laughs> no! Well, what makes someone an actual narcissist then? Why did I? Why did I engage in drama today? Oh, the only problem I had with him was how he treated me. Looks like I'm gonna go to bed. Ugh. Good night, everybody. I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow. Okay. Good night.